Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at creating box plots in Stata. So for our reference, we are using the aggregated dataset as shown in the first video of this playlist. So a box plot basically shows the minimum, maximum and the median as well as the 25th percentile which is also called the first quartile and the 75th percentile or the third quartile. So let's get started. So the basic command is graph and then in this case we are doing a horizontal box plot. So each box followed by whatever variables we would like to make the plot of. So in this case I'm just demonstrating with log of wage variable which is the first graph. So this is how a basic box plot looks like in Stata. And then I'm doing the box plot but I'm doing it over race. So I'm basically creating three box plots by three races, white, black and other in this data set. And we have three different um, box whisker plots here. So now let's take a look at some of the ways we can customize these graphs. So the default gives us the labels on the left and these um, data levels on the y-axis in this uh, graph. So if we would like to change them, so let's try this one. And we can see that the uh, race labels are now placed on the right hand side. So what we did here is we just added this little bit x alt so it alternates the x-axis of the graph and similarly if we do y alt it will alternate the y-axis of the graph which would look like this and if we did the x alt and y alt all together then we would basically have the data labels on the top and these um, race labels on the right hand side all right now if we would like to plot it in the reverse y-axis, so by default, it plots from uh, lowest to highest, but if we would like to reverse it, then we can do the y-ref, and that would uh, start it from the highest. So in this case, these are the maximums of each race, and these are the minimums of each race. And then in the center, we have the median, and then these two basically portray, in this case, this is the 75th percentile, and this is the 25th percentile. And in the default one, it starts with the minimum and ends at the maximum. And this is an example where we are plotting more than one variable. So I'm plotting uh, the mean of uh, log wage and the mean of total experience in the data set. And so we have three uh, races, so a total six box plots. So this one shows a um, somewhat more customized version with Y lines. So in this one, we are basically taking a look at how to customize uh, a default basic box plot. So as we can see that we have first given the legends. So we have clearly labeled legend here. And then we have also given a straight lines. So if we would like to add horizontal lines in our graph to highlight some particular data point, then we can do it using Y lines. And in this case, I'm demonstrating three different uh, shades and colors as well as thickness. So I'm doing one at a Y line at Y equals to one. Line pattern is solid and line color is blue. So that refers to this one. And then I'm doing two other, uh, another one, which is um, line pattern is dash dot, line color is red, and the other one line color is green. And I'm also specifying that the line width be thick. So this is the default line weight, whereas this is the thicker one is what I have specifically mentioned here. All right, now let's do horizontal, uh, sorry, let's do vertical box plots as we have taken a look at the horizontal ones. So I'll first drop all the graphs that I've created so far and then let's run this code so now we have vertically uh, placed box plots for two variables over three races and we have the same thing but customized in the vertical fashion now so now we have the y lines going um, in the horizontal direction and we have also labeled the legends and um, this is how our default box plot would, would come out in Stata. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.